During these uncertain times, local music legend Aldine Grassi, the punk rock farmer, reminds us of the importance of grounding ourselves in what matters most, good, my community, music, and rich soil. Follow Al as he connects us to his passions and the people growing healthy, organic local food. The peppers are going off now too. The best food is grown when you pick it from the vine and go in the house and cook it. These are Brazilian eggplants, Brazilian orange, and they're really tasty. It's really cool when you slice it like this. Lots of stuff growing right now. It's a really great time of year. It's August and so many things are coming in. And one thing that my garden, you know, people make dishes, they follow recipes. Well, I make recipes out of what's growing in my garden. And these great uh, seeds and great plants that are certain recipes. I'll talk food because I love food. When you see me post something, it's because this is gonna go great with this. I'm a cook, I'm not a chef. You know, my mom and dad were Italians, we cook. Here's the Italian ones, and these are called mezzalunga. I'm, I'm an advocate for eating local and growing organic food, and I wanna get folks excited too. Growing food in your backyard and keeping it simple, what a great feeling. I played in punk rock bands around here in, in Salt Lake in the, in the mid 80s. And uh, we had the Indian Center. And um, uh, our friend from Ranch Records, Brad Collins, was bringing all these bands and all the big bands like Discharge and the Subhumans and, and the Dead Kennedys and Black Flag. And all the local bands from around here, we got to play with those guys. So there was a huge scene here in Salt Lake the anti-establishment and anti-government uh, and all that kind of stuff, the stuff that has that kind of message, conflict and discharge. That stuff changed my way of thinking. It really did. Rolling, this is kind of raw. We feel really need to still say this stuff. This music really is trying to provoke awareness, man. Well, you know, I'm, I might not have the teenage angst anymore, but, uh, I still play in bands and I still have a punk rock band. Welcome to Radioactive, a show for grassroots activists and community builders weeknights at six here on KRCL. I'm Laura Jones. It's Friday night, means Al Dystrick and I, KRCL's punk rock farmer, is in the KRCL studios with me. Hey, Al. Hey, it's very nice to be here. You know, it's really cool because in the last five years, I've been doing this punk rock farmer thing on the radio. Nutrient dense food is the thing that we're talking about these days. And I've met so many folks and I've gravitated towards the folks that are doing the all year round growing and the folks who grow and the local farmers. I've been hobnobbing with them for the last five or six years and really get down into what's going on in the growing community. And everyone wants you to do as best you can and grow more food for more people as much as you can. Wasatch Community Gardens, their ethos is grow healthy food, grow, eat, repeat one of the really most prolific urban farms in the city. Really, as soon as I walk inside, I look around and I see the expanse of this place and how many different varieties of things are growing. We have 18 community gardens around the city right now. We're working with dozens of schools. Uh, we have our community education program that's teaching adults. We're, we're, we're trying to get out there and just help people grow and enjoy healthy, organic, local food. 
The Green Phoenix Farm kind of fits into that greater Wasatch Community Gardens network. And here we provide paying jobs for women experiencing homelessness, as well as working with single mothers, helping them break the cycle of poverty. These, these two things together are our farm-based job training program. That teach you how to survive in the world and how to be able to get through things. You wouldn't believe that there's something like this here in the middle of downtown Salt Lake especially with the zen we got here. Now I've got like a purpose in life, but I've learned that a little bit of nourishment, everything will grow and blossom, including people. Urban farming is quite a big movement. It kind of goes against the grain of things. It's kind of a punk rock kind of a thing because it's against what people might think that you sh should be doing or would be doing. You know, you can grow wonderful organic food right here in, in the city. Before World War II, there were no supermarkets. So that means that people either grew it in their yard or went to a farmer's market somewhere and that's all there was. And so these days, I try to just focus on growing what I can and going to the farmer's market. Yes, we use away the mozzarella. <laughs> Sundays, we try to keep up a tradition of sitting at the table and eating Italian food like we did when we were kids. When I was a kid and my grandfather was still alive and he only spoke Italian, we ate at the table every night. There was wine at the table every night. There was a salad that came out at the end after you ate your meal every night. And my mom would yell, manja, manja, come and eat. Where the seed was planted was by my dad back in New York. And we had animals that we raised, put in the freezer and grew our own food in the garden. Let it drown in the sauce. So tonight we're having tomatoes from the garden. It's Abruzzese. It's a small town in Italy. The veggies came from my garden and the farmer's market and the pork shoulder from a local farmer down in Provo. Folks, you own a piece of Mother Earth. It's out your back door. And uh, you can grow amazing food on your little piece of the earth. Not only are we regenerating the earth, but we can regenerate ourselves. I get a great feeling when I'm in the garden and I want you to have it too.